Hey there, collectives, and welcome back for another collective daily message. I hope this video finds you guys doing absolutely amazing. This is a general, so it's not going to resonate for every beautiful person out here. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. So there's money all around you, collective, because you're the woman holding a coin. Now, you may have decided to put love. Oh, wow. Woman holding a coin, angel of love in the reverse, and then you have the man holding a heart. So what's really going on? Are you focused on your money? Now, you could be a masculine in love with a woman, but she's very, very materialistic. She's all about the money. Somebody's heart chakra needs to be opened. Because it seems like the masculine is looking for love now, y'all, but the feminine is all about the money. So you could be a feminine that's putting your career first because maybe you've had one heartbreak too many and you may have a masculine that's in love with you and you don't have time. And like I say, you masculines here, you may be in love or needing to open up your heart. But maybe someone, I, I just feel like a woman is focus more on her money and the men are focused more on love and it's like a twist turn of events here the feminines is trying to get the bag after all this time the feminines have been chasing the masculines for love now they're not giving the love now the masculines are in need of the love and that's just what it is and I see this contract for some of you guys it's just karma it's like things are turning around the things are being reversed the power and the control, it's like things are just being turned around now. You know how the women have been the hopeless romantics and the men is all about their careers? Yeah, now the men are wanting the love, but the women have been so hurt and, you know, treated so bad that they're not focused on that. I feel like it's karma. So woman holding a coin is your overall energy collective. So let's see, ain't that something? Tell you when you when you done had enough, you done had enough. Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes you know people feel like it's safer to just focus on themselves because love hurts, and no one has time to be putting their all of their energy out there just to be disappointed. So someone may be losing themselves or distracting themselves in their money and their career, their business. And they put love on the back burner. And now the men want the love. But the feminines don't trust it. So let's see. Keep in mind it is a general. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. So let's see. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for returning to this channel. I appreciate you. So you got the star card in the reverse. Two of Cups, High Priestess, Death, Ace of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. I see the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands, both in the reverse here. And there's the Five of Pentacles here. Four of Pentacles. I feel like someone, look, it may, it just, to, to me, it seems like this is just toxic karmic behavior, okay? Because somebody may be losing themselves in work because they don't want to deal with love. But I feel like someone needs to heal because you do have star in the reverse. This could have been a situation where it was just, you know, friends with benefits. You may have hooked up, you know, for a main reason and it never went anywhere. So it's almost like somebody may have attracted the same type of energy that they are in. But with this five of pentacles here, I feel like there is a lot of jealousy and a lot of insecurities. I feel like this, <laughs> this is what's happening here. Now, you could have been dealing with a karmic, they could have been karmic. But you do have the two of cups, so there's definitely a soulmate, a soul tie here. I feel like it's a soul tie. 
And with this contract, this is a spiritual contract that you two are under right now. So if you've been feeling like with this five of pentacles, you're about to be the woman holding the coin. For somebody, you may have been waiting for a relationship to grow. Whether you are the masculine or the feminine. But I feel like this relationship began to be burdensome because I feel like there is a lot of competition, a lot of egos. Could have been tit for tat. You could be a Pisces, a Aquarius, a Scorpio. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You could be anybody, but your mains are Scorpios, Aquarius, and Pisces. So you could be any of those signs or dealing with one. What's up with this Knight of Wands in the reverse for the collective? Why are you rushing in here with the Knight of Wands? I feel like someone is insecure. Now this could be the same energy. This could be the same person. Someone could feel like you're not attracted to them anymore because whether this is on the feminine or the masculine side, somebody may be feeling insecure, very insecure. Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands in the reverse here? See, there is a lot of regrets. See, somebody done lost something. Five of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody has been waiting on something to change or to improve. You may have been waiting on things to improve in your life financially or romantically. Mm, see, I told you. Queen of Pentacles, see? Somebody may be feeling like they've lost out on something because somebody may have been all in their ego and their pride. It may have taken somebody, somebody may have not realized that you was the whole package deal until they lost you. Now they may have lost you to your business, to your career. You may have hit it big and inherited or, you know, got some money. See, I feel like this was a relationship that somebody lost. Ten of Cups. Because that Queen of Pentacles is that woman holding a coin. Someone may have had a third party person here too. Or someone could have been jealous of this relationship. Your own person that you was in a relationship with could have been jealous of you because you are the one holding the coin. Not a Queen of Wands in the reverse. I, I guess somebody feels unneeded or they feel like they can't compare or that you put your career or business before this connection. See, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And there go the Sun card. Could be a Leo. And there go the Four of Wands. Like, I'm feeling like this was a relationship somebody was in. You could have been living together, but it's almost like you could have been in a relationship and your partner always felt like they were in your shadow. It just could have represent you was involved with someone here who was very, very insecure. And so they could have been insecure because of the way that they were coming at you. Why is the five of pentacles here? Queen of swords in the reverse. Oof. So this is a real, real toxic, verbally, um, someone who is cold and bitter. I feel like somebody is bitter. Ooh, and there go that empress. Somebody had to leave a soulmate out in the past in the cold, see? That's what happened. Someone had to lose, see, and there go the eight of cups. Someone has outgrew a relationship. For somebody, it could have been this type of relationship where the woman was, was making all the money and the masculine was coming in with love, but it was not enough. Somebody had to leave a soulmate behind. It could have represented that, that a feminine was with it could have been a feminine, so I guess it's kind of like a caution. Some of these feminine who are very, very independent, self-sufficient, balling, you know, good careers, good money. You're judging these masculines harshly. 
And for some of you feminines, you're not going to find a masculine that, that, that make what you make. But they may bring other support. I feel like someone feels like they've been in a relationship with someone and they don't make enough money or they can't match them. And so they've left the situation alone. And I feel like that's not fair. I'm just feeling like someone could be saying love ain't enough. Okay. You could be dealing with some of these fe feminines who's, who's, you know, who got the coin and they don't want no man for love. God dang it. They want somebody to match their rhythm. Cause you see the angel of love is in the reverse. Somebody says love is not enough because somebody wants, wants to be matched financially. Somebody feel now I but but look I I ain't talk I ain't talking shade that you know this this is how you feel because somebody may feel like they've outgrown this situation. They may have felt like yeah look, I feel I understand that you love me but you're not helping me financially because somebody feels like love has nothing to do with it. The money does. And somebody's feel like you were a somebody was a burden. They rather go alone. Because somebody feels like they deserve better. That's what I'm getting. See? I feel like it could have been a situation where someone has been working with their mate, but the mate just, you know what I'm saying? Just not matching them financially. And now I feel like the person here who is being let go is dealing with it here. They're insecure. They're feeling like they're not good enough. <laughs> they're feeling like they can't match it because you know what I'm saying? They ain't making the right money here. That's what I'm getting. So it's like, once again, it's kind of like a caution. Some of you, and this ain't no shade. I'm just, I'm reading the energy. Some of you bougie, independent, modern women, y'all going, y'all, <laughs> and I can't tell you what the want because I feel like you're justified in feeling this way. But at the same time, I don't know. You, I guess you want what you want because you got the queen of pentacles. You want someone to match that. And I feel like they're not matching that. But I feel like it can be. I feel like I feel like these feminines are dropping the men if the women are making more money. They're walking away from it. They don't they don't care about the love. It's like it's like like I said, I feel like the reverses, the roles are being reversed now. You know, the women used to chase, chase, chase for the love and the men didn't have time for the love. They was all about the money, their goals, their careers, their image. And so I guess the women got tired of waiting. I guess the feminines got tired of, you know, wanting you to settle down so the women now the women are only after that bag and they feel like if you're not not this what it seems like these women do not want love <laughs> they do not want no man leeching off of them because they're gonna feel like it's one-sided mm. why is the star in the reverse wow what the overall energy seemed like these feminines saying, you know what? I realize love ain't enough. I thought it was going to be, but I don't want to pay all these bills. I don't want to be the one holding the coin and, and you loving me. You know, that's what I feel like is happening here. The star card in the reverse, you have the eight, eight of pentacles and the lovers. Somebody don't want to work it out. Somebody is done because they're going to hire fin in the reverse. But there go that queen of wands in the reverse. It could be a toxic feminine here, too. Because that queen of wands keeps coming out. Now, it could also represent the person that's being rejected. It's, it's, it's triggering them. Now they're insecure. They're second guessing themselves. But then again, you got the knight of wands. Someone could be dealing with a younger person here. And the passion is everything. They're very attentive. They're, they're lovey, dovey, dovey, dovey. But they ain't got no money. And they ain't trying to settle down and build nothing. It could represent that too. And now that same person who may have gotten left behind, they're, they're grieving it. They're, 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 it's, they're having a hard time. Why is death here? Could be a Scorpio. Why is death here? Somebody put an end to it. Somebody wants to be the Mrs. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody wants to be the woman holding the corn and they feel like they can't get it there. See, Ten of Swords, somebody feels like they've been done wrong. Somebody may have told them to look, you don't make enough money or you need to get a better job or something. Like I shared my story before, I remember my sister, she used to do some weird shit. I'm talking about shit, Aries and... 
Like the other night, I went to the casino with her. Well, she, well I invited her out. I said that she want to go ride down there because we wasn't doing anything. And <laughs> when we got to the casino, I went on in, but I didn't know she had been calling me until after the fact. So when we finally walked back out, I saw a bottle. I said, where's that bottle? She said, yeah, I was trying to call you. I was trying to get your key. I'm like, get my key for what? And, and she kept on mumbling. She, she had got drunk by then. And I'm like, what's going on? Y'all. <laughs> See, I'm 52. I think she's 48. Yeah, 48. How come she's trying to take her a fifth of Hennessy in the casino? In her bag. And I said, well, why are you trying to take liquor in the casino? Well, we always take it in. And I'm like, what? Man, I was so pissed off at her. It's like sometimes, you know, people just not on your level here. And you may want them to be, somebody may have been trying to build someone up. Because this empress, this empress, it also can represent a feminine that's high maintenance. And she's not going to settle. She don't care how lovey-dovey you are. What well, they say, ain't nothing going on but the rent. You got to have a J-O-B if you want to be with me. <laughs> ain't nothing going on but I feel like somebody is hurt because somebody don't somebody don't play that okay somebody may be selfish when it comes to themselves and they are not apologizing now why is the death here she said when we go to the other casino we was always able to take our bottle in there and I'm looking at her like I didn't know folks did now I understand pe I understand people go out to the car how you gonna take your own stuff and, and man I'm that just, it really pissed me off, and I'm like, ugh. Look, you got justice in reverse. See, somebody, somebody feels like they've been done wrong. See, and there it is again, the five of pentacles. See? But it could also represent that somebody was manipulative. See? It could also represent that somebody here thought that they were slick and thought they was a lover player here. And, and, and somebody thought that all they had to come in with, with, with was the upside down one. And somebody like, uh-uh, you it, it ain't it ain't that type of party. Somebody may have had to check somebody. I feel like somebody's letting somebody know love ain't got nothing to do with this. If you're not treating me right, I'm gonna cho choose me. And I feel like this is what's happening. I feel like these women are, these feminines are bossing up. And when they used to want the love, they're not running after the love because the love that they've been trying to get from these masculines have been toxic. So these feminines are not choosing these masculines. They're not choosing love. They're choosing themselves. So what's up with this two of cups? It is definitely a soulmate, a lesson mate. I feel like someone is moving away because somebody knows that they deserve better. See, and there it is, the eight of wands. See, the king of pentacles. See, because you got the queen of pentacles. See, this is somebody's wish. Somebody may want to be married. Somebody may want stability here. Somebody feel like that knight of wands in the reverse just ain't been cutting it. See, knight of wands in the reverse, five of cups. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. See, somebody know that they ain't gave you what you deserve. See, that? that's why they regretting it now. You're looking for a relationship. See, somebody had to prove to somebody that I am not just a, a friends with benefits. I am marriage material. And if you don't see this, then I can't do nothing. See, that that's what's going on. Because you got the king right here. See? See? Somebody may, these feminines are leaving these toxic masculines because they feel like they're, what, what they're given is, they, they've outgrown. And that's just what it is. They're, these feminines are leaving these masculines in the dust because they're not growing. They're not evolving. They're not expanding. They're still thinking that they're the God's gift to the women and this night of ones. And see, I told you, these masculines are toxic. These feminines are leaving these toxic masculines behind and they don't give a crap about their feelings. Now, why is the uh, high priestess here? Somebody, somebody starting over. So I feel like the, the collective message today is these feminines are no longer playing. They don't want that toxic love. They want real love. And they're not settling. They're going to leave your ass. <laughs> they're going to leave you in the cold as if they never knew you. What's up with this high priestess? Pisces. Ace of Swords, see? Someone already know the truth about this connection. They already know that somebody is toxic. 
See, somebody's gonna, these masculines are starting to regret these doing these feminines wrong because the feminines are walking away from them. And not only are they walking the F away from them, they're paying them dust here, see? See, it's, it's like you can't manipulate these feminines no more because they don't want it. They feel like if the love you're giving these feminines are toxic, they don't want it. They don't want it. They want something real and they're going to get it. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody said, don't nobody care about you coming in here with your little heart on your sleeve. I tried to love you, but you ain't helping pay no bills. You ain't trying to settle down. Plus, you got third parties out here. Why should I settle for you? You must not know me. Look, page of swords, the magician here. See, I feel like that same masculine is in their feelings. See? These masculines have finally realized that their asses have been replaced. It's a wrap. And that these feminines do not have to settle for the crappy crap that you're giving them. Because these feminines are here with all types of options, other opportunities, see? Now see what these masculines are feeling to realize these feminines was not with them because they were just so hell of a great. They thought that they could build something with them. They thought that they was going to have a partnership. And anyway, these feminines ain't laying up with you for no play. They laying up with you because they're trying to build a future. But once they realize that it ain't no future in this toxic relationship, they're going to drop y'all asses, see there? Because it's always somebody better. See, Ace of Cups, see? Ooh, these feminines ain't playing, y'all. They've had it. <laughs> see? I feel, like, I feel like whatever this connection you were in, it had you effed up. Because now you got the queen of wands in the upright with the judgment card. I feel like you had to get away from that toxic person because what spirit is saying is if they're coming to you wrong and mishandling you, then they're going to throw you off. It's almost like somebody put you in that position because of how they came at you. You also see the king of wands in the reverse. So you could have been on your grind and doing the right thing, trying to get this person, but I feel like hooking up with them threw you off. And I feel like somebody's realizing that they had to choose their self because they was in a toxic situation. So that's what's going on. The feminines no longer are interested in these toxic masculines. And now these toxic masculines can't handle it. Now they're bitter. Now they're insecure because they manipulate these feminines and they thought all these feminines was going to do is just stick around and be their friends with benefits. But these feminines letting them know, uh-uh, I got, I, look, I deserve way much better than that. And before I let you leech off of me and drain me, I, I go find love somewhere else. These feminines know why they're here, see? Like I say, these feminines want new love somewhere else and they're going to get it. They know that they are marriage material. See, and for some of these feminine, you, you run into a new soulmate. You're leaving this karmic soulmate, and here go your new soulmate. For some of y'all, y'all going to end up marrying this new person. But you had to realize your worth because you some of y'all didn't even know y'all was being taken advantage of. See, this is what you're going to end up getting. And that same person here who took you for granted and was manipulating you, look, look what they got to see. They got to see this, see? They got to see you getting everything you want, even if it's with somebody else, because they must not know who the F you was. But I guarantee some of y'all, y'all ex, y'all ex is going is late, is, is going to be stuck in stagnation, waiting for you to come back. But you're not going to come back for some of y'all. They're going to find out that you're getting married to somebody else and it's going to be devastating. There ain't going to be nothing they can do about it. All right, collective, that's your daily message. Please like, share and subscribe.